Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you 7 February, Thursday. It's a clusterfuck of shit today in uh, the UK. We have May meeting with Juncker. We have the BOE decision. We have Carney speaking. Uh, so there will be some messiness in the sterling world. We'll take a look at those charts in a second. Uh, we also have German industrial production, which should be crappy. ECB economic bulletin. They may have lowered uh, forecasts. Eurozone economic forecasts are, are, are coming out. We have some Fed speakers, U.S. Consumer Credit, uh, no one cares about that. We do have Kaplan, Clarita, and Bullard uh, speaking today, so it's been a bit dry on the macro side. We do have some information coming out today and some speakers, especially in Sterling, obviously, um, although I don't know how the BOE is going to do anything. They're just cornered uh, with this Brexit bullshit, but the Juncker May meeting will be interesting. I can't see how it it's going to be positive. But let's look at stocks first and foremost. Uh, we patiently waited yesterday. We did not get paid at 38. 36 and a half the high. Uh, now we've printed this series of lows at 22 and a half. By all accounts, we're going to break this at the European Open. So let's be ready for it. Uh, core short. Once we're through, um, because it's Europe, we'll make this a tradable short. So try and get yourself an average. One thing to think about is 27.50 is 16 and a half uh, PE. That seems to be kind of the sort of ceiling-ish on the fundamental side. So you got the 200 day at 27.43. You got 27.50, which is a 16 and a half PE. Um, somewhere in these sort of literally 50 handles because the, you know, this thing has been a little bit uh, hysterical uh, in overshooting um, this sucker's going to turn so tradable short get a better average this thing will go back up at some point today it's not going to go down in a straight line today um, let's see what happens here at uh, 2322 currency has been incredibly boring uh, low in euros 56 we've had a 10 point range overnight terrible cable same kind of bullshit 25 point range useless uh, dollar swiss chopping through all of this hedging look on the dailies now this thing looks pretty pretty progressive um, I would like to see the 10 year yield start moving higher or the 30 year yield uh, 30 year 30 year yield not not least because we're short uh, that stuff in the long term book but uh, we would like yields to tick higher for the tactical day book today to really get our teeth sunk in in the dollar swiss but step back a little bit we've had one now one count them one daily close above parity Yesterday's close was 23. So let's keep an eye on this, see if we start to get some momentum to attack this 101.27 level. Dollar yen is being pulled in two directions uh, stronger dollar and equities mildly offered. Um, there will be stops above uh, 110.16. A lot of medium term guys will have stuck their stops there. So uh, let's keep an eye on that. What else is there, our buddy Dollar Rand? I know we have a fair few followers from uh, from the African continent. I guess you must be tired of me slamming this currency all the time, but yesterday was sort of your key day. Uh, for no real reason, Dollar Rand went up a percent, almost a percent and a quarter. We're fully on uh, buy on dips here. The market is short this stuff. Uh, there is going to be a squeeze, especially if you see our old friend uh, equities turn risk off. Dollar rand, dollar czar, dollar rand is your horse. So 
today you're going to be kind of 55 and 52 and you'll probably want to add through 60 that's a daily pivot I know a lot of you are not comfortable buying through the highs uh, the only thing I can say about that is grow up um, it's a perfectly logical way to trade currencies from time to time not always um, and so sometimes you have to right when things are trending you don't want to start your long position in dollar rand above uh, 14 which will be adding through there as well anyway I've said enough on that main focus is this equity line here first thing 27.22 we'll try and scoop up some dollar rand and um, in the rest of the currency world not too much to do Aussie crushed uh, couldn't really couldn't get out of its way yesterday you know our, our, our amazing plan there to get long in the 20s sell 35s 45s and 55s yeah we sold 35s and so our average was f sort of 15 but you know it was a scratch There's just, that thing is very very heavy now uh, so I'm not gonna chase it you could probably sell this if you get a get a blip above uh, 71.10, but that's not our focal point for us. Today we're looking at dollars R, we're looking at equities, um, and then we're watching watching the sterling circus uh, today, as well as watching the European, um, European releases, IP in Germany, and the economic bulletins from the ECB. Voila! Uh, I will leave you guys with that and just wish you a profitable trading day ahead and